Audrey is in Virginia. Hey, Audrey, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Thank you so much for taking my call. Um, I'm going to try to get this question out. I'm super nervous, but um, the reason I'm calling is that six months ago, my dad hired me to work for his company. Um, My mom and my dad want my husband and I to take over the company in about three to four years when they become full-time missionaries, but I want the company to be debt-free before we do that. Um, my parents have almost 75000 of personal and business-related debt, and uh, my mom's the sole owner of the S-Corp company, and she takes pay from the company every month, um, but she doesn't work for the company um, or, or have a job. And my dad is an employee of the company and gets a salary. Um, and when I do the projections, uh, my mom's not contributing to the company, um, I believe hinders the company's growth and their ability to pay off debt before we take over the company. And I just wanted to get your advice on how to handle this situation. How many team members? Um, there are one, two, three, four team members. Okay. And you and your well, husband are two of them my... and your dad is another one. Sorry. No, um, my husband actually is not um, working for the company at the moment. Um, my dad um, another employee, myself, and then I actually included my mom in that as well. Yeah. What do you? What, what does the company do? Um, insurance restoration, so um, uh, general contracting. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. And how long has your dad done that? Um, he's been in the business for probably over twenty to thirty years. Um, but this specific business that he's opened, they just reopened this about a year or two ago. Mm. And 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 you've been there how long? I've only been here six for six months. Okay. All right. Cool. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, th- there's a good uh, couple of things to remember. There are, uh, there's an old thing that John Ward, who was one of the original writers about family business back in the 50s, he does a Venn diagram of the three circles overlapping, kind of think like, you know, the, uh, the Olympic circles kind of thing, right? The three circles overlapping. Mm-hmm. And the three circles are owner, family, and leadership. Okay, and you can mm-hmm. be you can be all three of those. You can be a family member that's an owner, and be in leadership, and you'd be right in the center of all three of those, where they all three overlap. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But you can mm-hmm. be a leader that's not an owner or a family member. You could be a family member that's not an owner or a leader. Uh, that'd be your mm-hmm. mother. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, she's an owner, but she's not in the leadership, and she's in family. Um, Mm-hmm. And so there's two types of pay that come out of any family business. There's the pay that goes to the owners of the business, which is the profits after everyone has been paid. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they could be sep- that can be separated among the owners then. Uh, and then the people inside the business get paid for the jobs that they do. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so your mom should not be taking a salary out of this business under any circumstances. She should be given dis- distributions, she and your dad, as the yep. owners, distributions from the business after it makes a profit after having paid its employees. Your yep. dad is an employee, you're an employee. Mm-hmm. Okay, so after the employees are paid, if there is a profit, that is not your money, that's their money, and that could mm-hmm. go out to your mom and dad, and that could be and should be, in this case, used to get rid of this debt if they want to hand you the keys. Agreed. Okay. And so we've got mm-hmm. to reset this because you don't put people on payroll who don't work there. Yeah. That's just weird. All right. Mm-hmm. And um, people agree. do it all the time in family businesses, but they do a lot of weird stuff in family businesses that's just wrong. And you pay people yeah. not because they're family that work there. You pay them for the job that they do. For instance, what is your title? Mm-hmm. Um, the office manager. Okay. And you would I get paid not for, for being the daughter. You mm-hmm. get paid for being, or the future owner, you get paid yep. for being the office manager. And if, if, if you could not hire another office manager for that same amount that they're paying you, then you're not paid enough. Or if they're paying you so much that if you hired another office manager at that rate, they think they'd be hit the lottery, then you're being paid too much. Yeah. Follow me? Agreed. So the, the yeah, roles absolutely. are paid appropriately. Your dad is the CEO. He's the you know CEO, COO, all of those things. He's running the business as the president of the company, and he should be paid appropriately for that before there are any profits. Yes. So the president doesn't work for nothing because they're an owner. 
It's true. Okay. It's so true. if you se- if you separate all that stuff out as if they're not family members and pay people based on the the role that they're in, whether they're an owner or whether they're a leader or whether they're a family member. Family members do not get money in family business. Yeah. Only owners do. Agreed. And only people that work in the business get paid on payroll. So that if you once you have that okay. kind of discussion with your dad, then he can go home and break it to your mom. You don't need to be the bad girl in this. Yeah, I think that's where I have the problem is separating it. Yeah, your dad, you and your dad need to come to a clear understanding of how this thing needs to be run until it's handed off to you. And then he needs to go home and explain this to his wife. Yes. Okay. Not, not Audrey really came in and is throwing her weight around as the office manager. That doesn't work. Yeah. Because you'll hear your mom, vo- you'll hear your mom with a mom voice in a minute and you can't use your mom <laughs> voice at business. That's not allowed. No. And no, you can't use your all. whiny daughter voice at business either. That's not allowed. Exactly. Yeah, this is a I professional agree. discussion by people running a business about a professional succession plan. And so that's how the okay. people, that's how the Ramseys that are involved in this business or not involved in this business get paid. Sharon Ramsey gets zero money out of this company except for the fact that she and I are the owners. And when the owners take some money home, she and I are the owners. Okay. But she does okay. not get any kind of paycheck from this company, nor has she ever for 30 years because that's just toxic. Okay. So yeah. once you lay all that out, then you can decide. All right, Dad, now we're running a business professionally. Uh, I don't really want this business if it's got debt. And, you know, we got $75,000 to clear off here in three years before y'all leave. That's $25,000 a year we got to take off before y'all start taking money home. Yeah. We got to lay out a budget for debt reduction and do some projections. Yeah, and and I've done the projections, and they could actually probably pay it off in a year. Yeah, Um, if they quit taking it all home. But can they eat if they do that? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Is he Even paying himself a salary? Pay. Yeah, he has a salary, and then my mom gets member draws. Yeah, but can they um, live on the salary? Dad. Yes, they can, absolutely. If they can they live can on his salary, I would throw their everything else in the profits towards the debt because the debt being gone is a precursor to the succession plan working. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That sounds great. And um, it's not, you know, you're, you're not taking the money from your mother. Your mother is merely paying the debt off that she ran up. Yeah. As an owner. That's that's what I've been thinking and I've been discussing with my dad too. So yeah. you just got to get this couch to... right in your head that somehow you're not trying to create a situation where you're somehow benefiting from this because this little yeah. company doesn't have a ton of value. No. You're basically mm-hmm. taking over a concept and a customer list. Yeah, exactly. It's not like you're getting handed a $20 million company or something here. Mm -mm, I mean, there's four employees and you're you're general contractor, so you outsource all of your labor just about. Yes, absolutely, all of it. And and so, you know, if, if, you know, there's not a ton of uh, value in terms of the actual value of the sub S here. So that's how you work it out. And you can do a lot of reading on family business. There's some wonderful stuff around on it. Uh, I've been studying it for about 15 years. I think it's probably the next book I'm going to do because we're in the middle of it. I mean, we've had family in this business. My, the Ramsey kids that are adults, um, uh, you know, are all in major roles inside this organization and have gravitated into those roles based on their competency and their performance, not based on their name uh, over the last decade or so. And there'll be a day that they'll be running this place and I'll be working here. Won't that be interesting? (laughs) <laughs> it'll be awkward as crud is what it'll be <laughs> but that's part of what you deal with